Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a look at osmosis and hydration and also kind of in the medical field how does the body work with osmosis and specifically when we talk about the blood and the blood and the circulatory system so of course our body is just filled with capillaries with veins with arteries that carry blood through every aspect of our body every portion of our body and of course if you look at a typical artery or a typical um, a vein or a typical capillary uh, it's a container like a tube like container that has blood plasma in it and the blood cells in in the blood plasma and what the ideal situation is for the body is that the solution the plasma and the blood cells are isotonic that the concentration of the of the solution inside the blood cells has about the same concentration as the solution outside the blood cells so that there is no net direction of, uh, of solvent going back and forth between the, the blood cells and the blood plasma. And that's why when you go to the hospital and you need to be given some saline solution to, be, to remain hydrated, they put a certain amount of salt in the saline solution, about 0.91% weight to volume. That way we have about 0.154 mole, uh, molar concentration of sodium chloride, or if you want to look at the sodium and the chlorine ion separately, then about a 0.308 molar concentration of ions in the saline solution. So what happens then when you become thirsty and you want to drink? Uh, let's say you drink too much water that contains no uh, electrolytes in it. So you just sit there and you drink and drink half a gallon, a gallon of water. All that water goes into your body. It gets absorbed through the circulatory system. And what happens now is that the, that the blood plasma will now be lower in concentration than the cells. And so what happens then is that you're going to now have a net migration of uh, of water into the cells and the blood cells that begin to bloat up, bloat up, and obviously that will to some extent lower the concentration of the solution inside the blood cells, but if you just continue to drink water, you can actually die from that because the flow of the water into the blood cells cannot be stopped at that point. So yeah, some people that drink way too much water is actually very unhealthy for them. On the other hand, when you get really thirsty and uh, you're not replenishing the water, then what happens is the concentration of the blood plasma gets, uh, gets to be higher in solute than the blood cells. And then what happens is water now begins to blow from the blood cells into the blood plasma. And that can only go on for so long until you become extremely thirsty. Of course, the blood cells begin to shrivel up a little bit. They don't become as, as, uh, as capable of carrying out their function like they should, carrying oxygen, carrying food between the, uh, uh, between the various parts of the body. And so that's when you want to go ahead and replenish. You want to make sure that the concentration of the blood plasma doesn't get too high. And so you want to then drink more water to, to uh, thin out the concentration, to lower the concentration. So again, you want to get yourself to an isotonic state. The kidneys, of course, do a wonderful job in trying to control that as well. If there's too much salt in your body, the kidneys work hard to try and remove that salt. Again, if this becomes too highly concentrated, then, then uh, water will go from, from the, the blood cells into the plasma. And so the kidneys work really hard to try and get that salt out of the bloodstream. If you have too much liquid inside the blood plasma without the electrolytes, too much water, then the kidneys work really hard to try to extract the the additional water out of the bloodstream it makes you go to the bathroom a lot to try and expel all that additional water. So your body always works very hard to try and get to what we would call an isotonic state between the blood plasma and the blood cells, all due to the osmosis. Once any one of those systems gets out of whack, the body does really does it best, makes you thirsty to try to drink more water. Um, if you, let's say you go out and, and work out really hard and you sweat a lot and in that sweat you have a lot of, a lot of electrolytes, a lot of salts, that means it removes the salt of your body. When it removes salt of the body, that's, this becomes uh, less concentrated and then you want to try to replenish that with electrolytes. You want to take drinks in that have electrolytes in them to, again to get yourself to an isotonic state. So it's really wonderful how this process of osmosis has such a big part in the way the body works and in the bloodstream and the way uh, fluid goes back and forth between the blood cells and the blood plasma, trying to get that into an isotonic or a normal state where that is at an equilibrium point. So there you go, just a quick little blurb on how osmosis works in the hydration of our bodies.